people in the Javelin on seven steps in Jeremy. Guys actually hear me? Something weird is going on. I don't know what it is. I've been noticing it ever since I popped up for the uh It's not intentional. Okay, let me see if I can figure this out. <laughs> Okay, how's the how's the thing now? Is it better? <laughs> okay, I I have no idea what that was. Like <laughs> First of all, hello people. I hold on. Didn't mean to change the background, but whatever. Um yeah, so I opened up my OBS and the microphone audio was like all the way to the to the max and i have no idea what was going on there um but i'm glad we uh, sorted that thing out um i'm glad we did i thought i might ha have to like you know restart the whole stream or something like that but i'm glad we didn't have to do that <sighs> how is everybody doing how is your day going it's, uh, oh yeah, it's Sunday still. I thought it was Monday for some reason. It sounded like a really bad webcam microphone. That is, like, I made sure that it's using this microphone, so I don't know what was going on, but I gave it a restart, and then it was, it was fine. So, I'm glad we got that out of the way. Alright, so for today, we might play... I set aside two games for today, but I don't know, like, if one of them is pretty long. If, if it is, we might just stick to one game today. But it's an RPG Maker game. It's been a while since I've played an RPG Maker game. Um, RPG Maker games have this, like, nostalgic value to them, just, you know, just by being an RPG Maker game. Uh, the game is called Lying Below. I got it from Ichio. Oh, and I did make a command for uh, Horror Break as well, uh, for those who come in and are confused. <clears throat> I'm 27 now, and I'm more miserable. Well, buddy, when you tune into a Devil Leon 7 stream, we try to fix that. Uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, cowboy. Happy birthday. Um, hope this year treats you better than the last. <clears throat> yeah, I, I removed the uh, the uh, FAQ command, because who's going to ask me what's my favorite Yakuza game on this stream? 
right? Surely no, nobody will. Anyway, anyway, let me uh, boot up one of the games. Yo, the soundtrack, okay. We might go into one of these layouts. Hold on. Do, 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 do. The music, though, goddamn. Window, okay, I think we need to change some something, hold on. Uh, do you play any instruments? No, I don't. Mm. Do you? Does anybody play instruments? Okay, so the, uh, the size of uh, the resolution of the game is a bit weird, so it's not going to capture, it's not going to be like a neat fit, but bear with it. Here we go. Lying below. Um, I don't know what this game is about. Hold on, let me pull up the, the game page. So the game page says... A short game in which a search for a missing child in an 1800s mining town leads a shopkeeper deep into the south, into the earth. Features an original soundtrack. All right, um, got enough of an introduction, I guess. Always dash. Um, sure. Command remember. Uh, okay. I don't know if those are gonna help at all, but. Let me crank the volume up to max. I think I figured out something that I did um, for the past, maybe not even the past, yeah, I, I think the past few streams or past several streams. I tried to make it so that uh, there's a filter that limits how much the audio threshold is, basically, so it doesn't go above that. But I think what that did is the audio quality, when it gets to that threshold, the quality dips. So I, I think I'm going to get rid of that. And also, the volume is on max, so you guys get to get uh, scared with me as well. Uh, your turn to die? No, ha no, haven't heard about that. Um... Okay, lying below. Let's see what this is about. Yo, the music, dude! Whoa, what is this? Damn, I'm running late again. I think it's a little too loud, right? This should be better. There we go. I gotta get down to the underground street and open up the shop before I miss the morning customers. How's the volume now? Is it still loud or...? Bleh. I'm glad to get out of the heat. I think this door leads to an access shaft for the town's storm drains. Perfect now? Okay. The door is locked. The door is locked. The long pig. The pub has two entrances, one at street level and one below ground. Elmshire times. Two disappearances in the same week. That's concerning. Two people in the same week is a lot for a town of this size. Okay, same dialogue. Door is locked. That's odd. Normally the baker's kid would have opened the place up hours ago, but it's closed. Maybe he's sick? Wellman and Sons Bakery.
general store. Here we are! My little corner of the town. It's not big, but it puts food on the table. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Only the best low-range wine for my customers. The shelves are filled with a variety of goods and knickknacks. I guess I better set up. Ten hours later. Ugh, what a long day. Shelves crammed full of wares. Clothes, drinks, ointments. I'll stock anything that people will pay for. Oh wait. Rope, jars, more rope. Exciting stuff. A lantern sits on the counter. A directional lantern sits on the counter. A special one. Alright. Who is this? Hello, are you Flint? I am. Do I know you from somewhere? I'm Mary, the mayor's assistant. Oh, right. I think we met before. How can I help you? No, uh... No, you didn't miss much. We're just the shopkeeper. We arrived at the shop. We spent the whole day. And, like, you know, fast forward. Um, and now we met this, um, this woman. Wait, hold on. The mayor wants to talk to you. Oh, what about? I can't say. Not here, at least. When does he want to see me? Immediately. Can you follow me? Sure. Okay. I think this is a storage closet. The mayor's office is just up those stairs. Reading the last town council's AGM is not what I want to do with my Friday night. Thank you very much. Alright, Flint. Jeez. I can't go home yet. Okay, hall for your... Nothing in here but stationery. Maps of the town and surrounding district. I love how I can examine this stuff without, you know, the mayor watching me do that. The safe has a combina- oh no. Flint, you gonna do that in front of the mayor? The safe remains locked. Yeah, so, uh, you didn't see that mayor, right? Note, please do not change the code to the safe. <laughs> Keeping it as a year important to the town makes it easy for staff to remember. Okay, what's the year? <laughs> it's almost as if the mayor is just not there at all. Any information on the missing storm drain access key should be reported to town hall staff. Ah, oh, Flint. Thank you for meeting me. Yo, Def, welcome. No problem. How can I help you? I suppose I'll just cut to the chase. I suppose you're aware that in the last week, two people have gone missing in Elmshire? It would be hard not to be. News like that tends to travel fast. As of this morning, that number has risen to three. What? Who's the third? Yo, yeah, Luna, welcome. Eric Wellman. The baker's kid? Shit. Exactly. We don't know if it's related to the other two, but we want to find him before word spreads to the... to avoid causing a panic. The police are searching the town, but they're spread thin. That's why we're requesting the help of civilians with good local knowledge. So you want me to search the underground street? You catch on quickly. If you can find him, consider the rent on your storefront paid the next month. I'll try my best, you can count on me. 
Good man. You can use anything that you can find in your search. We'll reimburse it all later. Now go find that boy. Yes, sir. What if I open the safe first? So wait, an important year. No. I'm assuming it's gonna be 1800 something. Since this game is set in the 1800s. Okay, well. A good place to start looking is probably the bakery. Alright, off to the bakery then. It looks like the lanterns have been snuffed out for the night. I should try to find the light source to help me search. Lantern? This lantern is brighter, but only provides a narrow beam of light. Oh, so we get to pick which one? This lantern isn't very bright, but provides an all-round circle of light. Which one would you guys take? Narrow and focused? Or all-round but small radius? I I'm leaning towards this one. But... Hmm. Narrow. Okay, wait, can I... Yeah, I'm gonna save here. Okay, I'm gonna see how this one is like. Mm, this lamp needs oil, and I don't have any in stock. There's probably some in the street's storage closet. Alright, we know where that is. I think this is a storage closet. The door is locked. I think... Okay, so we need to find the key then. This is where my money lives. No need to get it now. Well, where's the key then? I've been sitting here all day. Me looking at the stream chair once I'm done. Yeah, live money. I think this door leads to an access shaft for the... Wait, I think I read this already. So where's the goddamn key then? Maybe back at the mirrors? A stack of firewood. Oh, he's gone? Alright, you know what that means. So wait, return all keys to Underground Street to the safe. all have the same oh wait that's a new one the underground street project was successful in revitalizing the town and turning old mine shafts into usable space imagine that yeah imagine that hey there's a smutty book in here uh oh can't show that to youtube Anything interesting here? No. Oh, the township of Elmshire was first founded in 1854 during the gold rush. 1854. Write it down, fellas. Despite the uh, large quantities of gold being found in the first week, the mines quickly dried up. The rapid population of the town is now commonly referred to as the Fool's Gold Rush. 
last year's tax report. Thrilling. I wonder if the key is here then. Obtained closet key. We got it. Hey, there's another key hidden up the back here. Hattery key. Huh, okay. Thank God for double checking, I guess. Hold on. Sometimes I can't help but feel the game is a bit too loud. I just reduced the volume by a tiny bit. I think this is a storage closet. Unlocked door with closet key. Okay, let me see if I can open something else with that other key. Oh, unlocked door with hattery key. Hmm, no clues in there. Yo, we got a hat. A new hat would be nice, but making rent is slightly nicer. You just got a hat, though. My man stole a hat and says, no clues in there. <laughs> a container of lantern oil. Fill lantern? Yes, that should do the trick. This could be useful. Obtained broom. Nothing else. Okay, we have a broom for some reason. We needed to go into the bakery, I think, right? I think... I guess let's find a key for that. Oh. Something is buried amongst the, amongst the firewood. Obtained pickaxe. We're finding everything but a key. Alright. So we have a pickaxe and a broom. But no key. Break the door with a pickaxe. You would think the mayor would give you the key since, you know, he's asking you to investigate that place. Mm. Oh wait, there's a shiny here. They're not animated for some reason. Knock down object with broom, yes. Obtained bakery key. Unlock door with bakery key. I guess this is a good place to look for clues as to where that kid went. Let's see. The baskets are filled with baked goods. Not exactly fresh, but not stale either. The baskets are filled with baked goods. Same thing. Alright. Anything in here? The oven is empty, and the fireplace is filled with coal dash. Hold on, there's something broken out of the ash! Obtained access shaft key. I wonder what this was doing in there. I think it's worth checking the shaft. Alright, we'll do that. Nothing else here, I guess not. <clears throat> Alright. Here we go, unlock door with access shaft key. Eric, are you in here? I guess I have to keep looking. I know, right? So many keys to find. <laughs> so this is how our light is. I mean, I'll take it. I guess we'll go upwards for now. There's a patch of exposed stone with a gap in it. I can't squeeze through here, but it's possible that kid could've... Maybe I can find something to widen it. The pickaxe? The 
pickaxe should do the trick. Widen hole with pickaxe. Alright. I'm gonna go check downwards before we go there. Oh, nothing. These look solid. I don't think you went past here. Alright. Okay, so the items can be easy to miss. I just gotta really pay attention to them. Because the sh like the glint isn't animated. The kid could have easily fallen into that hole. I don't like this. It seems dangerous. I should go back and get help before I go any further. What the... Let me guess, a cave-in or something? Ah! What's happening? Oh. <laughs> oh shit, he's bloodied. Where am I? Am I below the street? I gotta find a way out of here. Alright, things are getting interesting, I think. I feel dizzy. I think that I need to get to a hospital. Oh, what do you think? How? Why would you say that? Yo, Dixon, welcome. How deep is this place? Okay, we have a place here. Hmm... It's a statue of a winged humanoid figure with two emeralds for eyes. Something about the statue makes me uneasy. It's hard to tell with its hood, but its face doesn't look quite right. Let me guess, it's gonna come alive? It's a stone pedestal with a small ball of oil at the top. I think that might be a torch. Light stone torch? Oh! Another one? Nice. Let me guess, blue? Yo, RGB candles. <laughs> or torches. Eight sapphires are studded down the cloak like buttons. Hmm. Yo, welcome, welcome. So, what do we have here? Did, did I unlock something? It's a stone pedestal with three rotatable rings on, on the side, each with ten different markings etched along the surface. This looks like a combination lock. Oh, I see. Wait, no. Get out of this. Okay. So, we had two emeralds. Two, and then... Eight. What was the last one, if there is one? Three rings. Okay, so, two, three, eight? No? Maybe you shuffle the numbers around then until you get it right. Uh. Wait, wait. Statue of a winged humanoid figure with two emeralds for eyes. Okay, two emerald eyes. Three rings. Ten different markings. So wait. I wonder if that ten matters. Um, two, three... Um... Eight sapphires. Yeah, so two, three, and eight. Okay, wait, let me save here. I'll, I'll go check elsewhere. Oh, we have a place. Oh, this looks like a maze. Okay. 
Is chat scared? Don't be scared, chat. <clears throat> Something with the ruby, yeah, maybe. Maybe the last statue really is somewhere, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, there's gonna be something on the way back, isn't there? I mean, look at the layout. There's something here. Obtained blue runestone. Alright, whatever... That is lurking here. You can show yourself. I know you're out there. I wonder if that's everything. Maybe there is one more thing. The gate seems to be very solid, but there are two empty slots in the center of it. Maybe these slots are the key to getting this thing open? I should keep looking around. Okay, so we got one stone. I'm assuming one of them goes here. It's a statue of a humanoid warrior. Four rubies. Okay, so, so what? Uh, two, four, eight? Right? That's the ruby statue, so... <clears throat> hmm. Uh, maybe there's another layer that we're not looking at here. So wait. Again, this is two emeralds. And this one... Three rings, but it doesn't mention, like, you know, a gem. Uh... Oh, wait! The I'm stupid. I, th I think the rings is just, you know, the... The number... Um... Thing. Ten different markings. Right, so... Eight sapphires, two, four, eight. Let me try shuffling around the numbers now. Uh, so wait. Two, eight, four. Yo, Ricky, thank you for the super chat. Any recommendations for what to do in Silent Hill 1? Um, generally speaking, you're gonna find a lot of ammo and health in that game, so... Hmm. Ooh, RPG Maker. So, Leon just started Silent Hill 1. Got any recommendations or anything on what to do for first game like besides saving ammo and health? Yeah, no. Uh, for the most part, you're gonna be good. Um... I'm trying to remember the requirements for the good endings, but uh, I can't for the life of me remember what you had to do. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, when you get to the hospital... I'm just gonna say this without, you know, spoiling anything. There's gonna be a room with a uh, red liquid. And I think in the same hospital you find a container. Get a sample of that red liquid. It's needed for a fight. Stuck on the school. Man, I should go back and play those again someday on stream. So wait, 428, 482, maybe. Wonder what I'm doing wrong now. Wait. So. Is this where I came from? I think it was. Yep. 
<clears throat> you know, I've been thinking long and hard about something lately. And I think I might actually go for it. Um, I forgot to mention at the very beginning as well, but uh, with the randomizer compilation... Oh, wh what is this? Five rubies. Um, I pretty much finished compiling all of the moments that I wanted to get from the randomizer. So now I'm just in the process of edit editing those. Um... So wait, five rubies... So what, do we combine the number from the other statue? What was it? Yeah, four rubies and five rubies. Nine rubies, I guess. Yeah, I'll try two, nine, eight. Yeah, so I'm gonna take my time with the randomizer compilation, because um, I don't want to rush that out without, you know, with minimal edit editing. I want to try to... You know, sometimes you try to think of ideas when you're editing, but nothing comes to your head. You just have to leave it for the day, and then maybe in the middle of the night when you're trying to sleep, you're like, Oh shit, I got this cool idea. I should do that. Oh wait. God damn it. The top of the pedestal clicks open, revealing what's inside. Obtained red runestone. And now we're out of here, baby. It's obviously going to be that simple, right? Alright, let me... Yes, insert two runestones. Do that. Insert the blue and red runestones. What the hell was that? That save menu was automatic. I appreciate that they did that. I need to get out of here. I barely got to move. I need to get out of here. Oh. What? Dude. I need to get out of here. No. What? Stop it. <laughs> we need to get good. I need to get out of here. Oh my, just so fast, dude. <laughs> okay, okay, we got this. I need to get out of here. Oh no. Oh wait, can you bamboozle it like with turning and shit? Oh no. No, what? Oh, that that is a bad spot. Because like, you can take a turn quick or you can take the long... I don't know if that's going to make sense, but... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, uh... One. No. <laughs> I did uh, hear about the Brawler mod, yeah. We had the modder as well asking me to play it. We can do that someday. Okay. Up, down, and then... Uh, and then up. No! Th this turn is what I'm talking about. Like... There's two turns, so it's... You can get screwed over pretty... Uh, Easily. I need to get out of here. Oh my god. Did he notice in one of the attempts he ran into a wall and just got stuck there? Would be nice if that was a little more consistent. I need to get out of here. See what I mean? Oh god. No! We made it so far! <laughs> that was the fur furthest we made it. Come on, come on, come on. I need to get out of here! <laughs> We're never getting out of here. Okay. I need to get out of here! Can you, like, not... I need to get out of here! Holy shit, that was... The way I, like, take the turn and then get back close to where I came from and then he just... Ugh. I need to get out of here.
See, that second room that we go into, that's the problem. So, we start with a stone below us. We can we can either go left and then down or right and then down. I'm, I'm not sure which one is the better one. So, usually when I get there, I kind of just get all mixed up. I need to get out of here. Oh, God. What does Lurk do? Nothing. It's just a fun little command to announce to the world that you're going to be a Lurker. I need to get out of here. Maybe I need to intentionally, like, run into walls so that he runs into walls. I don't know. Okay. You feel the ground shake and part of the roof cave in, putting a pile of rubble between you and the monster. Finally. Can I save? Please, thank you. <laughs> I need to get out of here. Gotta get out of here! Come on, open up! Why won't it open? You struggle desperately, slamming and pulling... D what? Pulley door? Pulley door with bleeding fingers! Yes, final! As soon as the door swings open, rocky rocks fall from the cave roof behind it, sealing the doorway once again. No, that's not fair! Someone, help! The lantern oil burns out, leaving you with nothing but the sounds of your own breathing and the shuffling footsteps of whatever is behind you. Oh, that's it? Man, why did they do my man like that? Like, you gave me a game where he was just destined to die? How is that fair, game developers? Yo, shout out to my man Will for those sounds. Thank you for playing Dark Ride Entertainment. Yeah. Even after all of those gotta get out of here, they weren't enough. He was just destined to end. Yeah, so looking at the game page, it doesn't say that there is multiple endings, so I'm assuming that really is how it does end. Um, and this was like a submission as well for a contest, so I'm assuming it's not really, you know, super big or anything. Yeah, so what did we learn, chat? We gotta get out of here. Okay, so that was Lying Below by Dark Ride Entertainment. Uh, you can find the game on Ichio, and it's free, by the way. Now, the next one... Let's see. Hold on. I gotta get out of here. We have to get out of here, chat. Okay, this game is taken... Oh god, okay, there we go. I was gonna say it's taken quite a bit to launch. Yo, spooky! God damn! <laughs> okay, so wait, what? Why did I do that? There we go. Oh god, I got scared. I thought the stream crashed, oh my god, when, when the audio stopped playing. Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Alright. Alright, fellas, this is the Witch, the witch of Sherdorn Forest. The Witch of Sherdorn Forest. P to play, Q to quit. Uh, we're quitting, right? 22nd of March, 1335. This is a historical stream. We're going back in time. Okay. What? Last night, the son of Lord Ra Raylai vanished. The boy was last seen in the valleys to the east. So the Lord sent his men to search the desolate hills. Yet the town's priest disagreed and spoke of his visions. 
Your boy traveled west, he told the Lord. Yet Raeli was never a man of faith and ignored the priest. I'm assuming there's going to be consequences to that. <laughs> you, on the other hand, saw the truth to the visions. They spoke to you. In the morning, you embarked west towards the forest. The Lord's prize would be great if you're able to return the boy. We got this. We got this. Okay, so I don't know how kind this game is to the bitch rate. I don't know if it's like Sauna Night from, from the last horror break. How is it? How does it look to you guys? Mouse sensitivity. That's that's the only thing you, you can change, it seems. Okay, I have no freaking idea where I am, so uh, let's just walk. Fine for me. Okay. Yeah, because the Sauna Night was pretty rough on the bitch rate. This is a beautiful place, though. Oh, what? Did I get reset or something? Oh, oh, I think you're supposed to go this trail. Okay. I wander a lonely trail in the forest. Nobody around. Just me and the trees. Hmm. Thank you, Johnny. All right. You know, speaking of forest, any cradle of forest enjoyers? Dance. Dance like a butterfly. Wait, no. Is that the right? It's been a while since I listened to it. All right. Um, yeah, glad you guys are enjoying the mixtape. <clears throat> the sun. Oh, the sun is. No, please stay. Well, it was nice knowing you all. I'll need wood for a fire. So, uh... Can I chop this? No? Well, where am I supposed to get wood then? The tent? No. I gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. What? All these trees. Okay, Protag, genuine question. Where the hell do you want me to get that wood from? I, I can't do anything to this tree, or that tree, or that tree, nothing. Hey tree, can I have some logs? I don't think that worked. Maybe I'm supposed to get lost or something, I don't know. Oh, there's a path here. Is this the one where I came from? I don't even know anymore. We're getting lost anyway, so I might as well just... Oh wait, that's my tent. Oh. Oh! Oh, okay, so you just find them on the ground. Any others? Oh, I see one. Alright, chat. I'm assuming the audio mix is fine, like you hear me just fine compared to the game music and sounds. Uh, this is the game audio reduced, by the way, for you guys. Any more sticks? Hello, buddy. 
Yeah, this is reduced. If, if it's at full, I don't think you guys will be able to hear me uh, clearly. <laughs> Wait, I need more? All right. Any sticks? Wait. Do I just... Oh, I thought that was my camp as well. I was like, wait, why do I have two camps? Is it just a limbo of me going back to the same camp and I never can get lost or something? I always pump myself up and then it... And then it's the wackest jump scare you've ever seen. I always pump myself up, fully readying myself for the jump scare. And then I don't get jump scared by the jump scare. I get jump scared by a stupid sound that plays. Observation duty, anybody? <laughs> like, legit, when I, when I played observation duty last time... Wait, what? Oh, did I go too far? Yes, I did. When we played Observation Duty last time, I got jump scared by the game once. I got jump scared by the sounds like five times. <laughs> like the game and just the uh, audio cues that aren't supposed to be scary. Is that all, please? There we go. Put your hands around the fire, chat. Get them nice. Uh-oh. They forbade searching west. The boy wandered into the valley. Yet here I am. Yeah, I'll probably do that, Elaine. I was thinking about it, actually. I feel like something wanted me to come here. I gotta get out of here! <laughs> Tell him! Okay, I... I thought this was pitch black until I saw OBS here. Apparently I'm supposed to be looking out of my tent. There's something shining. Am I supposed to move? Oh, no. I guess not. Oh, I am. Okay, I legit can't see shit, though. I'm just gonna move towards the shining thing. I legit can't see on my monitor, just to let you know. Like, it's pitch black. Except for that one pixel. I have to look here on OBS. Uh... What do we have here? Yo, thank you for the super chat, Ricky. Thank you. Was there a time you got jump scare by sounds around you than in the game? Like you hear something behind you and you turn around thinking there's something there? Kind of. I don't know if you would count, um... Sometimes I feel like something is crawling on my leg or arm, and I, you know, I freak out. But then it was like a hair or something. Okay, so what the hell am I looking at? Oh! oh. And this guy or woman or person is just gonna go in there. Well, this is a nice little place, isn't it? What? Is that a trapdoor? Surely, nothing can go wrong here. Yes, yes, just go into this random house, open the trapdoor, and go inside, because that's what everybody would do. Oh, chat, are you ready for it? <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to move? Uh-oh. Oh, I am?
Oh, my, it's dude. I can't see. Can anyone? Okay, that made me jump. Not gonna lie. Okay, so whatever is gonna show up here, just show up already. After that, I don't think... I think I'm good. Like, usually when I play horror games, if something... that It's it's that first jump scare, right? Once you're past the first jump scare... Wait, what? Once you're past the first jump scare, usually what comes after is okay. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Uh, I got lost in the woods. I don't know whose house this is, but, uh... I, I, I thought I could get some help here. Did the door close behind me? I think it did. But no matter. Oh. I'm just pushing straight ahead. Hello? Leon, do you believe in Meow or Woof? Meow is supremacy. What about chat? Uh-oh. Blood? Whose blood is this? Alright, whatever is in here. Show yourself! I gotta get out of here! Chalice? Yo, are we drinking blood tonight? Am I the monster now? Are we? Is there supposed to be anything here? Yeah, this protagonist is awesome. Like, my man fell, in <laughs> fell through uh, God knows what. Uh, found like a puddle of blood, found a chalice next to it, and their first thought was to like, Hey! I'm gonna drink that. Yeah, because uh, why would I not? Alright. There's something that's gonna come at us here. I know it. I know it! Do it. Do it already. Come on. Any second now. What? I thought I saw something there, but I guess not. Okay, I think this is pretty goddamn loud, isn't it? How is it for you guys? Something's gonna come out of this door. Watch. Watch. Boo. Can't get jump scared if I'm not looking ahead, right? Okay, whatever's in here, come on. We're waiting. Oh, oh got a crutch. What's in here? Come on. Fellas, what what if we really are the jump scare? Us. Drinking that blood made us go mad, and then we go hunt some kind of... Oh, oh, it's the boy. Oh, we gotta find four keys, really? Oh boy, here we go. Or maybe this is them tricking you. You're not supposed to find the keys, you'll just die. We gotta get him out of there. Yo. Is that all four keys? 
And we have to come back to each one. Let's get him out of there. Don't worry, kid. Yo, what if the kid is the monster? There's gonna be a twist, just to watch. I am kind of worried about something, though. Like, compared to... Um... Excuse me, may I drink some of that blood? Okay, it's coming. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> Hello? Help! Holy... Okay, that was pretty loud. <laughs> I have just one question. How's your ears doing, not me? You guys. Because even though I lowered the volume for this game, I think that was still very loud. Has to be a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, that was the Witch of Shardorn Forest, fellas. Um. Not bad, not bad. Uh, had pretty good ambience until uh, the screen was a little. Yeah, I tried to lower the volume, fellas, but uh, they really wanted to get you guys. Okay, um, we still have some time left. How about we get back into observation duty? Some of you guys may not have seen that, and it's pretty fun. Like it's engaging for everybody. Just the right amount of spookiness and just the right amount of. Uh, interactability. Wait, interactability for everybody. <clears throat> Is there anyone that wasn't there for uh, observation duty? Yeah, I've seen a lot of horror games that end like that. Just, you know, a jump scare or like you die and then that's it. We played two games where you die today. <laughs> Okay, so... So this is a game that we did play last time, but you know... Um, I don't mind going back to games like, you know, this one for example. It's pretty, like, replayable. Especially because last time, we basically beat no levels. But yeah, observation duty. Uh, just give me a second, fellas. I'll be back real quick. Real quick. Alright. Okay, for those of you who didn't, like, who, who weren't here last time, or for those of you who, uh, I don't know, never saw this game. Observation duty, fellas. Very simple game. You go through security cameras, you have to obser uh, observe anomalies, and if you notice anything out of um, the ordinary, you have to report it. And that's it. That's the game. Okay, now... 
I thought you could adjust the... The brightness, but I guess not. Alright, so let's go with... The country house. Do not seek the secret, it will come to you. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Wait, did I? Oh, it's loading, I guess. Alright, fellas. Take a good look around here, okay? So, this is the bedroom. This is the living room. Okay, wait. Oh, there we go. We can adjust the brightness here. And this is the max brightness. Take a good look. Alright, two shoes are there by default. These are there. Box. Uh... Radio, couch, two pillows, uh, window. Okay, uh, two chairs, two beers, a microwave, two cans above the microwave. Open, um, uh, wardrobe, or, no, uh, shelf, whatever it is. Uh, photographs. These are the default ones. Empty TV, uh, chair, chairs, uh, hallway, dark hallway, portraits. <laughs> Nice. I'm proud of my chair. Uh, okay. Uh, the paintings are usually pretty easy to tell. Usually. Okay, and here we have the lion, a shoe here, a book there, box, uh, whatever this is. Painting, painting, fan. I think this is the last. No, this is sauna as well, I think. No man box hammer is that supposed to be something I can't tell okay that's that's all the uh, level right yeah I need to do that Ben that was a mistake that I did last time okay all right people once you notice anything is amiss. You'll let your boy know. Wait, that hammer wasn't there, right? Yeah, pretty sure it wasn't. Um, outside... What was it? Object... Oh, extra object. There we go. Yes. Yo, Naho, welcome. All right, uh, keep your eyes peeled, chat. Uh, everything looks okay. Everything still looks okay here. Ooh. Was that always there? Maybe it probably was, but... Uh... Alright. There probably is something, I just didn't see it. We went by a lot of rooms. Um... Well, hello there. Intruder in the kitchen. We do that, and we get the hell out of there. <laughs> Last time, we just kept staring. Um, it wasn't a pleasant experience, let's just say that. All right. Everything is looking fine. We gotta get out of here. Fellas, why is the person surveying a cursed uh, house? Are they stupid? Were these boxes always there? Okay, you're looking, looking okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. 
I have a feeling there's like an extra object or two that uh, just went under our radar. I mean, with these games in particular, that's usually the case. Uh... Mm. Oh, the chairs. The oh, shit. Uh, object movement. Kitchen. The kitchen is on fire today. There we go, now they're facing back, as they should. Carpet. The carpet is normal, right? I think the shotgun is the same place. Uh... Can't see anything here. Um... I thought I saw something outside the window, but no. Okay, there has to be something we didn't see. Somewhere. Hmm. Nothing looks wrong, though. I'm surprised none of these paintings changed yet. Uh... Yeah, we went by for a while now. Without any reports. We're gonna get that uh, warning. Saying too many anomalies. Just any second now. Wait, the pineapple, was that always there? Extra object, kitchen. Pineapple. Oh! The ceiling fan, wait, which room? Yo, Velvet, yeah, we're back uh, to this. Uh, everything looks okay here. The spin. Uh, let's find out, I guess. Library. Everything so far has been in the kitchen. I'm surprised. No. Okay. The desk has another odd object. Oh god. Uh intruder outside. There we go. This should be right this time. Nice. Yeah, so last time we played this game, that guy outside would switch between, uh, you know, windows and all of the rooms. And because I used the rooms, instead of, you know, saying outside, it kept saying that's wrong. Uh, everything looks in order. Do 
The desktop in the gallery looks fishy. Hmm. Gotta take a look at it again. I think it looks fine. Doesn't look any different to me. The living room's chair moved. Did it? Object movement. Living room. Alright, we're trusting you on this. Oh! La Casa. This one's for you. Hmm, everything looks okay so far. Wait, the shoe? Oh, wait. This one? That's... Uh, that's uh, normal. It's always been there. Wait a minute. Oh, no, I thought that was something here. The pillow in the bedroom? Let's see. Bedroom, object movement. The head in the bedroom is missing. What, there was a head? Okay, uh... Object disappearance then? Oh shit, yeah. So wait, that's one, and then the pictures. Uh, painting anomaly, is it, or...? Let's see. Extra object, wait, wait, wait. Mmm, there we go. Good eyes, chat. Good eyes. All right. <sighs> well, hello there. The bedroom is <laughs> the one that's cursed now. Hey Leon, what's your job besides streaming, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, right now, this is my main source of income. Mmm, <laughs> paintings look okay. The barn's door. What would that be? That that looks normal, doesn't it? Other maybe? Outside? I think it was open. Let's see though. Yeah, I think it's fine. Do -do 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 -do. Do mm -hmm. everything looks fine here? I think something in the kitchen. Uh, we'll get there in a bit. Something is tilted. What's tilted? What? You talking about this? This is, uh, the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Up. 
Uh, I don't see it. Right up. What, this? That's normal. Oh, hello. Uh, intruder. What do you mean it's- what? What, so I had to like switch away and then report? Okay. No taken, I guess. Wait, 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 wait. So I did die to that guy, right? Wait, let, let's try this again. I want to beat this map. We looked for like two seconds, and, and then my guy was like, oh, game over. Okay, so intruders specifically. If we find those, turn the camera away, and then report the area. And don't you forget it, chat. Write that down. Ah... <sighs> I just didn't think much of it because I saw a playthrough of this like maybe a year ago now and I just like I don't remember the streamer you know moving the camera away when he would report uh, intruders but I guess we do have to do that do -do 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 -do. Okay, everything looks good so far. You know what's shocking to me? Remember that one jump scare from last time? The guy with his back bent? That guy approached the camera and that was fine, but this was a game over somehow. Alright, everything's fine so far. I think you have to make it until 4 a.m., if I remember right. If you do that, uh, you win the map, basically. Yo, resource. Nice, hope you're having fun. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. By the way, um... Wait, I think I already did mention this in the previous game. No, the, the game before the last, actually. Uh, oh, thank you, Super. There is a good chance that next stream, we're going to start a journey. I'll just say that. And it might be sooner than you think. Hmm. Okay, I think we haven't gotten anything so far, which is not a good sign. <clears throat> Signalis, no, but I heard about it. I can't remember if it was you or someone else, but someone told me to play that as well. So, you know, there's always a chance. The axe? Oh shit, yeah, it is gone. Uh, object disappearance, outside. Yo, Ahmed! Huh! Give him five stars for paying attention. Is this journey what I think it is? See? Oh, what the hell? Was that a distortion? Distortion in the gallery? Help! Send help! <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Uh, no, no, it's not what you think. It's uh, something else. Uh, 
what journey? You will have to wait and find out. I am thinking about tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see, though. We found, what, two anomalies so far? Man, there are so many games that I w intended to stream, but I still haven't. One of them is Final Fantasy VII, the remake. <clears throat> I still... When did I buy that? I think it was last summer. And I still haven't uh, streamed that. Oh god! Painting anomaly! Bedroom! Help! Send help! That is spooky. I tried playing the original Final Fantasy VII. Um, and that was years ago, by the way. Like, many, many, many years ago. But, um, I kind of just dropped it. I don't think there was any specific reason for it. I just kind of got busy with other, with other stuff. Because, you know, JRPG games in particular are a big time sink. And Final Fantasy uh, VII had, like, what, four discs on the PS1? Yo, Frosty, Welcome. Mm, I have a feeling something is wrong, but we aren't seeing it. Wait. Okay. Yo, nice, Wraith. Glad to hear it. Um... Road 96. Don't think I've heard of that. Might check it out. <clears throat> Ladder. You're not talking about that one, right? Uh, yo, it's a pretty welcome. Phasmophobia? No, never played it. But I saw a gameplay of it, basically. Is this a new game? No, it's pretty old. Well, maybe... I don't know when it's from exactly, but it's not a new game. I think it's always been there, no? Let's try. Library... Object movement? Yo, Mobius. A guy named y Yames or y is it Yames or Yamis? Makes a bunch of amazing ones. All right, I might check those out. I can't see anything that's changed. I don't like this chat. This is too quiet, too peaceful. Did the shoe move? Wait, was there a noise? Wait. Uh, distortion? Hey, 
guys are right. What about trying Fears to Fathom? Oh man, I love those games. But you know what the problem is? I watched all of the uh, all of the episodes. And like, I don't mind, you know, playing games that I already watched or played. Oh god, what the hell are you? But um, I feel like it might not be as entertaining for for chat. But yeah, Fierce to Fathom is pretty good. Same goes for a lot of Chilla's art games and Puppet Combo games. I watched a lot of them. So I feel like if I'm to play, like, new horror games... Te you know, technically I haven't played those on the channel, but... Probably wouldn't be the same. <sighs> Wait, did I see a shadow move? No. Original Slenderman? Oh, man. <laughs> Those were the days. Five Nights at Freddy's when? Try Pert M Oh, I heard about that game, actually. Isn't it supposed to be, like, very uh, retro style? I watched all of it, I think. Oh, oh, I... You thought I wouldn't notice that. Gallery object movement. Kitty, you're supposed to be here. Do what do we have? I actually do find FNAF one scary when playing it yourself. That's the thing about playing horror games, right? Sometimes, in my chat as well, we get a lot of tough guys saying, Oh, haha, this wouldn't spook me. But playing a game and watching it is two completely different experiences. When I watch people play games or uh, stream games, horror games... Um, wait, okay, I thought I saw something. When I, play, when I watch people play or stream horror games, I never get scared myself. Okay, that gun moved. But um, when you're playing a game for yourself, you have to, like, it's not the same. You have, when you watch someone play a game, like you guys are watching me right now, you have the comfort of looking at the streamer on the same screen as, you know, all this spooky stuff. But uh, when you're playing the game on your own, it's just you and the monitor. <laughs> the carpet in the living room. Two car Wait, two carpets? Wait. Wait, th there's one carpet in the living room. You talking about these? Is that wrong? Hold on. Library extra object. Oh yeah, Frosty. Love their games. Oh! Yo, nice, um, Fabio. All right, everything looks fine. <clears throat> Outside watering can missing. I have no idea how you noticed that, but, uh, god damn. Good job. Amazing. <laughs> okay, what do we have? Oh. 
kitchen, 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 uh, TV, radio anomaly. Yeah, I don't want to look at that. Don't want to get uh, a jump scare or worse, death by just looking at that. I need to remember to look away and then report. Yeah, we're about to hit 3 a.m. That one time where everything spooky starts to happen, right? Playing Yakuza at 3 a.m. What could go wrong? Going back a little bit on the topic of like playing a game for yourself versus playing it up with like an audience. Or, uh, sorry, playing a game for yourself versus watching someone playing it. Uh, the one streamer that I watch the most play horror games, he would, in a lot of the previous streams, he would either, like, be unfazed or, like, he would talk about how a lot of the stuff in horror games doesn't scare him. But then he plays some, like, certain stuff where he does the same thing that I do, where, like, he covers the, you know, he covers his, uh, some of, some of his view. And I might have mentioned it last stream, actually, but one of the things that really get to him is when you have a game where you have to look at something, and then you also have the option to look behind you. That really gets to him. Quill, hi, Sana Mahtawa, la mubahwa. Everything looks okay. Mm. All right. Oh, hello. Uh, okay. Uh, kitchen. Intruder. <laughs> We got to be careful of that one guy that, like, we looked at him for two seconds, and then he just killed us. All right. Have you watched Analog Horror, or do you see it in your own time? I did see a bunch, actually. Yeah, mainly uh, the what's it called, the Mandela Catalog. I think I watched most of, at least the original tapes of that. Uh, and I w I watched people watch those as well. And there's also a Mandela ca uh, Catalog game. I watched the streamer play that. Object disappearance in the library. Uh, what's the object? Uh-oh. Wait, the fan stopped moving, right? Oh. A bow next to the couch. A box. Oh. Okay, we have a lot of anomalies, chat. Oh, hello. Uh... Uh, uh, object movement uh, in the outside. Oh god, he's looking at you. <laughs> it should be object movement, right? Okay, nice. That's two anomalies. Fellas, we gotta be on the lookout. We're almost done. Did the shoes move or is that just me? Everything looks okay here. Are you good with jump scares? Um, depends, I guess. I sometimes get jump scared by stuff that shouldn't be jump scared. Uh, that shouldn't jump scare you. Let's see. Living room, object movement. Yep. The chairs moved in the bedroom. Did it? Object movement. No. I'm scared.
Okay, I have a feeling something might be amiss here, but we don't know it. Like extra object or something. Wait, was there a hammer outside? I need to check. Oh wait, no, th I think that's always there. But yeah, sometimes a hammer shows up here. Uh, I think so, Jario. If you pick uh, the wrong stuff, you basically accumulate more... No, like, I think you do die faster. Come on. So I think if we make it to 4 a.m., we win. I think. Achievement unlocked, the witching hour. So do we win? Maybe not. Maybe we have to make it to 6 a.m. then. Um... What? Horseshoe. Oh no. <laughs> uh, even after all these attempts... We gotta get out of here! We didn't win! <laughs> yeah, we gave it our all. Maybe we can come back to this again, like, next stream or something. But, uh, for the time being, we're like 9 minutes away from 2 hours, so I think this is a very good, uh, note to end uh, this episode on. So, we played, uh, what was it again? Lying uh, Below, and the Witch of Sherdor in the Forest, and then we played a bit of, you know, Observation Duty. That was, um... That was pretty fun. Observation duty usually is pretty fun as well because, you know, you guys get to play and I also get to play. You know what I mean? Um, I wanted to really be set on making more than one episode of this. Even if this, like, miniseries ends up, you know, coming to a stop eventually, I want to at least have made, you know, several episodes. Like five, ten or something. So that, you know, it remains there on the channel. Like, hey, Devil Leon, you know, made this horror series and uh, uh, people can go back to it any day. Uh, so, as to what's coming next, like I said, we're gonna start a new game, I'll just say that. And it's gonna be a very long uh, journey. But I'm gonna try to balance things out between, you know, keeping it... Uh, Keeping that as much as I can, but also trying to maybe put a Yakuza stream in between. Uh, to... I guess to balance things out so that people don't go, Oh my god, that fucking Devil Leon 7 again. Not streaming Yakuza. The Yakuza guy not streaming Yakuza. How could this be? You know? Uh, oh yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of good horror games out there. Uh, it's just... You know, sometimes I see other YouTubers doing this kind of stuff as well, like they start a new thing or they start a playthrough or something and they don't finish it. And I'm talking like big YouTubers, so when I... When I end up doing something like that, you know, after having seen those YouTubers do the same, I don't feel too bad, because... It just makes me feel like I'm not alone out there, because sometimes, you know, you get too caught up on some with something else or... Uh... You... I don't know, stuff happens. The Hraini man wanted for not answering what his favorite Yakuza game is. It's been nice knowing you guys. Uh, thank you, Roxy. In the one million special, there's gonna be a GTA V stream, yeah. And we, uh... We mod it to where we play as Kiryu, killing all these people, right? Oh, thank you, Ahmed. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next stream. I can't wait. I, I really can't wait to uh, start that with you guys. I'm just hoping... <sighs> I'm so excited and so scared at the same time. Like... I want you guys to enjoy what I have in store, but it's gonna be like a pretty long journey, so, uh... I can only... I, I can just hope for the best that you guys, uh... Um, will be able to keep up, basically. Um... And for those, you know, who... 
might miss some episodes or, and all that. I'll try to kind of summarize things for those who miss it. Ah, uh, 100k sub special. RGG cosplay. <laughs> thank you, thank you guys. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the end of this. And uh, just want to say thank you guys for joining. And look forward to the next stream. It's going to be uh, pretty poggers, so to speak. Uh, you guys take care. Stay safe and stay healthy. I'll be seeing you next time. <laughs> bye bye.